pipelines. Questionable for the environment, fantastic for managing deals, and ensuring your team follows a consistent and structured sales process. If you're not already familiar, a pipeline is a linear series of stages that can be set up for projects and opportunities in Insightly CRM. For a small business, these stages might be call customer, offer services, sign contract, plan work, and complete work. For larger sales teams with an SDR role, they might be pass, qualification, evaluation, pricing, commit, and closed. In any case, setting up a pipeline allows anyone on your team to see the status of a project or opportunity, what has been done, and what still needs to be done. Combining pipelines with activity sets will also generate tasks for different members of your team as each stage is completed, helping everyone stay coordinated and ensuring follow-up is done. Let's check it out. We'll start by looking at our opportunities list. Here we can see a high level view of all of our open opportunities and their current pipeline stages. Let's assume the SDR is ready to pass a hot lead to the account executive. They could either convert the lead into an opportunity with an Insightly or create a new opportunity from scratch. We'll do the latter. When you create a new opportunity, you'll have the option to drop it into a pipeline. You'll see that at Insightly, we have different pipelines for our customer success, professional services, and sales teams. For this example, we'll use the sales new business pipeline. When we select the pipeline, you'll see it automatically pulls in the stages we've set up. And when we click save, it drops us into that first pass stage automatically. Now for the burning question, how can you create a pipeline and customize its stages? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how quick and easy the process is. But first, let's quickly cover a few key points. Number one, pipelines can be used with opportunities or projects in Insightly. Every pipeline must include at least one stage. Only one pipeline may be applied to each record. And number four, pipelines have to be created by an Insightly admin, but can be applied by anyone who can create or edit projects or opportunities. All right, now that the boring stuff is out of the way, it's time to get out that pen and notepad to map out all of the stages in your process, in addition to any tasks or events that are done at each stage. For example, let's say that during stage two, the qualification stage of your sales process, you want your reps to complete a discovery call and follow up after the call with next steps. In this case, you'll add the call as an event and the follow-up email as a task. Heads up, we'll eventually create activity sets with these. More on that later. Now that each stage is mapped out, an Insightly admin can add a pipeline and its stages in system settings. Give your pipeline a name and click Add Pipeline. Now, you guessed it, let's start adding those stages. When setting up a pipeline for opportunity records, you have the option of setting an automatic probability of winning percentage for any opportunity that reaches this stage. Maybe in the qualification stage of your sales process, your sales team typically ends up closing 10% of those deals. So by putting 10% here, Insightly reporting will provide your projected revenue based on this probability and the value of the deal. While your sellers can manually fill in the probability of winning in each of their opportunities, this will do it for them as they advance to the next pipeline stage. Now it's time to add those tasks and events I mentioned earlier. One major benefit of pipelines and Insightly is that any stage can have an activity set associated with it. Activity sets are a collection of predefined tasks and events in one step. So when you reach a stage that includes an activity set, the set is triggered and will automatically create tasks or events linked to the current project or opportunity. Be sure to save your pipeline and let's navigate to activity sets in system settings. Type a name for the set in the name field. In our case, we'll call it qualification. Since we're planning on applying this set to our opportunities pipeline, we'll tick the box for opportunities. Click the edit link to begin adding your activities. The number next to the activity set name indicates how many tasks and events are included in the set. You'll see a zero until you've added your activities, which are necessary, so we're not done yet. We'll first create our discovery call event. Enter the activity name, details, due dates aren't required, but in our case, we'll want to ensure reps schedule that discovery call quickly. Remember, urgent bird gets the worm. We'll also create a task within this activity set for a follow-up email, which will be due after the discovery call. As you add tasks and events, 
they will be displayed in the activities view. You can modify them by clicking the edit pencil icon, delete them by clicking the trash can icon, and return to the activity set page by clicking the name of the activity set. With Insightly, your activity sets can be as simple or as complex as your business needs them to be. All right, now that your activities are entered, the set is ready to be applied to our pipeline stage. When we go back to our pipeline, you'll see we're now given the option to add our qualification activity set to the qualification stage. Now, when we advance our pipeline from pass to qualification, that activity set will automatically populate the task and event, and we can select the user responsible for completing each. Ultimately, the goal is to streamline your seller's process as much as possible, reducing errors and giving leaders clear visibility into the health of their pipeline. Want to take automation one step further? Activity sets are just a small glimpse into Insightly's automation capabilities. With workflow automation, leaders can map out their repeatable business processes by triggering actions if certain conditions are met. In our case, we could set up a workflow automation that automatically sends an email to sales leaders and responsible users when a pipeline has been stagnant in the qualification stage for more than three months, or notify the sales director if an opportunity over $20,000 is lost. This just scratches the surface of workflow automation and its ability to ensure consistency and efficiency in sales processes. If you want to learn more about automation or customizing Insightly's pipelines or activity sets, visit the Insightly Help Center or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.